hi there and welcome back it's tanya from tattoo treasures hello there if you're new then welcome aboard it's always nice to have new people joining us and if you are a returning subscriber then it's always nice to see you back so another month another new project and i'm so excited uh, to get started on this um so last year for my birthday i was kindly gifted um <clears throat> the woodland friends by uh graphic 45 um i got the 8 by 8 and i got the 12 by 12 and um yeah i'm ready to use it <laughs> So I've looked at this paper so many times and it is beautiful. A uh, really, really pretty paper. And I think, you know, going into spring and that, I think it's it's ideal to get us into into the mood. So I think I've well probably shown it off a, a couple of times. So um I've been sitting here this morning. Um well, I say this morning, it's actually this afternoon, but I've not been up very long, so we'll just call it morning. And I've been, you know, looking at different colours, um, what what I'm going to use with it. If you've seen a lot of my videos and things, at, at the beginning of, of big projects, um, I like to gather everything together and look at the colours and things. That's not to say that I won't grab something else in, but I do like um, to kind of, I like a cohesive look. Um, I'm very matchy-matchy. Um, and I, you know, I like that, that appeals uh, to me. So I've been looking at papers and stuff. Now this has got a lot of pink in it. I'm not a great fan of pink, but I'm, you know, I'm not against pink. It, it's pretty, um, but I won't be using other things to bring the pink out. What I want to do is concentrate on the greens <laughs> and the beiges <laughs> as normal. Um, and then, you know, we've got the pinks in, in the paper. I'll definitely be using, uh, you know, the pink papers. Um, it's just that I'm not, not going to be, um, you know, making making a bigger bigger thing of it. Um, so let's have a look what we've got apart from uh, the papers. So I was sent this by uh, Rita Jensen and I thought this would go lovely. And we'll probably use this further along when I'm making tags and things so I thought they'd be great uh, to decoupage over um I'd looked at music paper or book page and I'm fancying um having book page uh with it I think because it is so busy needs something you know to to bring it bring it back down um you know when you look at one piece that's fine but when you've got a journal full of all this you know full-on paper it, for me, it's going to be, whew, you know, too too much. So, I've got some nice uh, dictionary paper. Um, I've also got uh, <coughs> piano. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, these are all bits. Oh, but I want this bit because that's really nice. Um, that's got a lovely tone to it. Whereas these are, oh my goodness, lighter. Ah, that's got green in it. See, that's why I, I did like that one. That's got blue in it. So I'm going to be using uh, some piano roll. Not used any of that for ages. Uh, and I love it. So that's that. I'm going to pop those somewhere else. Yes, I made um, a booklet, didn't I, out of one of those. Um, I must make something else with them at some point. Right, so we've got that. Then I went and had a look what um, papers I'd got. None of my uh, card seemed to be just the right uh, green. A lot of it was too light or too dark <clears throat> or too olivey. Um, so I looked in the big stack of papers I've got by uh, Die Cuts With A View. It's the, um, the heirloom stack. Um, I use that a lot with, with Tim Holtz. There's some quite jazzy uh, prints in and that, but there's a lot of plain uh, backgrounds. So there's this lovely one, which is, you know, I'm guessing like tea dye. Um, it's got like a crunched up effect. So I thought, again, you know, that's very nice to, to tone it out. And then I've got this lovely uh, green. And luckily, I've got three sheets of, of both. So we've got lots there. 
so that's what I've got paper wise obviously I can use a uh, tea stained paper in there as well and I you know I've got a trillion book pages so I don't think we're gonna run out of uh, stuff and um, I tea dyed some um, lace and it's gone really quite uh, dark which I'm pleased about so I think that'll really go nice with that and I stumbled across this uh, ribbon and um, <coughs> I'm not as keen on on that green it, it's a little bit bright but I mean it it's um you know very very similar um so I've got that which would probably look nice on you know the more plainer um things and um I've got this lovely uh, olive color as well I love how they've done the ribbon that they've um folded them both together that's um a nice satiny one and then that's um a, a gray screen one so i've got that um so i don't know i might put that under the machine and make some some ruffles with it that'd be nice wouldn't it um so yeah i've got that then i've got uh this material which I think I'm going to be using uh, for the cover of the journal. I've no idea. Well, I say I've got no idea. I'm thinking this is going to be um, a hardback three signature in um, a Reader's Digest cover. That's um, what I'm thinking. May end up two. You never know. It is going to be two, so it may end up three. <laughs> I'm making two, uh, but yeah, it could end up three. Um, I might not make two books. I might make a book and, and something else. But um, yeah, that's my material. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have any left to... Yeah, I probably need to measure the cover. Because um, I'll probably be have a, a bit left, which would be nice then to use... Um, inside the journal so i'll do that off screen and cut off what what i've got extra um yeah because that'll be nice to make some uh materially things so i've got those and i've got this lovely netting that uh crafty ali sent me last year and um yeah i love using using this so that's that so that's really what i've got not too many different things um that's you know i i do like to be quite quite simple <laughs> um i've got the matching stickers um i sent for these from scrapbooking.com so i've got the stickers and i've got the die cut pieces oh that's another piece of fabric i've got so i might this is lovely it was just a sample um i mean it was a few pounds just for this <laughs> sample so i might actually do a small journal as well yeah i'd forgot about that yeah that'd be nice yeah beautiful but i might cut it in half and then do a spine and then have that uh one on the front and that on on the back so that's that um yeah so i've got the the die cuts and um aren't they beautiful i mean that that would look beautiful on the cover wouldn't it yeah very very pretty and i've got a few die cuts um these are from the stamp area forest um yeah and i've, I've got the journal cards here as well they're beautiful so that is what we've got so as well as doing this it's going to be ephemera we're going to make ephemera all month um and it's going to be on saturday and sunday um and these videos are going to be inspired by so um it, it's things that i've seen other people make and i'd like to try them out and i'm going to try them out um in these papers so the first one that i'm going to try out is from brenda linston i i always say her name wrong uh and i will link uh did i call her barbara if i did it's brenda 
I don't know if I did or if I didn't, but it's Brenda, Brenda Linston. Uh, <laughs> so I will link Brenda's uh, channel. I've also got some um, hemp. I thought the um, natural one would be very nice. Um, these are on my Amazon uh, shop front. I don't think anything else is. Um, I've put all the forest papers in that. They're in my um, Amazon storefront as well. So I'm going to take a breather, um, breathe, and um, I'll come back and we'll we'll start the the first um, the first the first the first piece the first ephemera piece. Right. See you in a little while. Bye. Okay, so what we need to do first is choose some papers. Um, and I would like to do them, you know, different. Um, I'm going to get a clip and start clipping up all the scraps and, and what have you. Because then we can make ephemera um, embellishments another time. So, she didn't do a video on, on this. I saw it on her flip through. Um, but... It looks pretty straightforward, but it, it's really cool. Um, so I need two different types of paper for each one. And I'm thinking the middle one will probably have that in, in the plane. So, and we want it that it's going to look fine that way. That means nothing to you at this <laughs> this moment in in time. Oh, I do love that one. That is so sweet. Um, I think we could do with something like um. Oh, do I want to use that? And because I, I really uh, love that one. Right. We only got three three of each in this, which is pretty pretty good now I don't mind using one of these because <coughs> I have um, obviously got these cards anyway because that's the the cards that I've brought but I don't have any of the smaller ones they're all pretty uh, well they're bigger so if I was using this one, I'd probably be better to use it out of the big, uh, the 12 by 12. Could do one in pink. Oh my goodness, make, make a decision, Tanya. I'm drowning in, <laughs> drowning in decisions. Right, that, that isn't uh, right for it. Let's do a pink one, a pink bunny one. And what's at the back of that one? Oh, that's the one I've just said. Oh, gosh, it's so difficult. And let's do that one. Okay. So that's decision decision made. And I'm gonna move move that out of out of the way. So we've got our papers. All you need for this is uh, two two envelopes. I'm guessing you can do this with any size envelopes at all. Um, what I want to do first is I know this book. If I'm doing it in a Reader's Digest, is so I'm not doing it in this one because if I did it in this one, I would keep. Uh, the cover and just do do the spine I've got some with red covers um so <coughs> it would be too big to have it side by side so I would be doing it that way okay so that's another thing when you're making a ephemera it's like you really do need to think um, you know, what size are you making it in and things like that. Because I've made loads of ephemera and then, you know, they're too wide or they're too tall and things like that. So always bear that in mind. So we're going to be doing it that way. Brenda had done hers that way, but she'd done um, like a long uh, book. So that was fine, um, you know, for the book that she was doing it in. So we're going to be doing it that way. 
uh, which changes it a little bit. Um, right, let's get these um, together. Together. Um, so I'm going to get my craft tape, which, you know, is like masking tape or uh, that kind of thing. And I'm going to get them taped together. So I think the best thing would be to put half on one, then turn it over and go like, like so. Okay. Let's just bring that one in a touch more. Yeah, just fold that over. Now, these are going to be stuck down to the page, so I'm not bothered about... Um, covering the back if i was putting these pieces in the shop um i would probably just cover them in book page um because then you know somebody else has has, has got the option to not put it um down you know you could put it in with a i was gonna say coat hanger don't put it in with a coat hanger um with a paper clip so let's um do this one so like that so i hope everybody's doing okay like i say it's it's now actually tea time um i woke up at seven o'clock this morning and um went downstairs made a cup of tea like i normally do and i came back upstairs sat in my chair with my cuddle blankie on <laughs> um and um I could feel my eyes um, drooping. I felt so tired. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to get back in bed. Uh, so I did. <laughs> and um, it, Ryan was on a late today. And um, I could hear him in the bedroom. And I said to him, oh, is it such and such? And he said, no, it's time for me to go. Him to go to work. So it was half past 12. I was like, oh, my goodness. So we've got them now joined up and we need to cover this front and we're going to make the front part into um, a, a top, um, you know, <laughs> one of these. We don't need words, do we? We can just do, do actions. Now, this scrapbook paper um, from the Uzumi Bob isn't very thick. So I'm thinking if that was a pocket, it would actually need something at the back of it because uh, I think this would be too flimsy. Now, does this go with this? I think it goes with that nice. Um, I don't think that. I mean, what does the green look like with that? Because there is green in the leaves. No, I'm not, not keen on that at all. Maybe... Hmm. No. I think maybe that. Okay, so what I've done is I've measured um, the length of, of the inside and that's about six and a half. Which, that won't fit in here, whatever, will it? Um, and the width was about four and a half. So, let's get the ruler um, and I'm wondering if I can just, just rip it. Let's have a look. Okay, and <coughs> I think I said six and a half, which I've not got that measurement on here anyway. So, let's do it. Do it like this. I think it's a little bit wide, but I can now trim it on on the trimmer. So just make sure that the flaps go up and down without it bubbling up like so. Just take a little bit more. Let's take a bit off. Let's have a look at, at that. Okay. 
that's fine um lengthwise still need a little bit of uh widthwise so obviously yours will be dependent on what envelope uh you've used so yeah that's fine uh for that so let's keep all these scraps together um, so anything that I start off, um, I'm going to clip together. So I've got my clips and the actual scrapbook paper, not the this one, but the other one. I'll clip that separately. Um, so when I'm, you know, looking for that, I don't have to root through everything. So that is that. Let's pop that away. And next, what I'm going to do is um, ink all around these. Um, I need to either stick that down or cut it off. Um, I'll probably, I think I'll cut it, cut it off. So I'm going to ink all the way around it all. I'm going to ink um, these and then I'll be back. Okay, I've inked um, those. Um, because these are thin, I'm going to back them on this manila folder. What I did some wrong score marks on it, so I've just put it in my, you know, to use card. I don't tend to use um, the folders for backing. Um, I did buy some buff coloured folders, what we get quite cheap here. Um, they're also on my... Um, Amazon uh, shop link and it's under paper so that's what I normally back uh, things in what need back in um, I could have backed these in anything because you're not you're not going to see them it, it's a bit of a waste really now I <laughs> think about it I uh, should have just done it on I don't know something um, yeah you're not going to see the back they're not journal uh, cards it's, it's to make the make the pocket but it was hanging about from yesterday when I was messing about um like I say I did quite a few score marks and just couldn't get it right and then I thought oh if I get it right now it's just not going to bend um I thought I'm going to find it hard to to find the right score mark so they got to put in the to use pile Am I going through both? Yeah, I thought I was. It felt a little bit too thick. So I'm just going to cut round this as, as straight and as best as I can. So I've inked with gathered twigs. I've put the walnut stain um, on the back burner for, for a while. I've been using that for, for quite a bit. Uh, now we're getting more into uh, botanicals and, and things. Um, I go back to the gathered twigs because... Um, for me that's a more of a brown brown um so it reminds me of you know the trees and and things so yeah I tend to use the gathered uh, twigs and i've also put to the top of my pile um a green ink i think it's the rustic wilderness and i was kindly gifted that uh from the lovely crafty uh day um, I've not seen any videos from, from Dee. I know that um, she's commented on a few of, of my videos. But, um, yeah, I've not actually heard uh, from her. So, I'm not sure um, I'm not sure what's going on there. So, if you are watching Dee, I hope um, everybody's okay. And, um, yeah, it'd be nice to, to see you. See you back. We do miss you. Right, so that's going to fit on there nicely. Is it? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Let's check. Hmm, maybe it does need just a touch. Let's, um, let's get the trimmer out. <laughs> it's just... Um... Take a touch. So I want it to, that's better. I want it to fit fit nicely. So let's let's check this one. And now this will make a nice um pocket that's not gonna get you know bashed in or anything rip. Right, 
so we are going to put um, a divot in there yes we are and um, I'm going to do it about halfway you know I'm not the greatest at iron uh, things up so as long as it's it's near us so obviously when I put those on there you're now going to see uh, that which I do not want so I'm going to coordinate um, the inside with uh, the paper which does seem um, <coughs> Okay, it might seem like a bit of a um, waste of paper, but I'm not thinking of it like that. I'm thinking it'll be nice and it'll coordinate nice. It really doesn't matter what. Let's do, let's do that. Um, Amazon's just been, <coughs> so Colin now thinks um, we have intruders and it's running up and down down the stairs um, and the Amazon man is gone so yeah I'm gonna stick that there and then I just think it'll tie it tie it in nice but I'm gonna have to cut it in half aren't I <laughs> never thought about that honestly I am I am a dim dumb sometimes so oh now it's upside down but it doesn't matter because you can't see it only for a fact okay so that's gonna go there I think yeah don't move oh I can see that's right on on the craft uh, card so let's get count that down okay Okay, that's lovely. Then I'm going to put this uh, on, but first I'm going to think around here. I think uh, when I've done today, I'm going to put <coughs> the refiller on um, in my um, gathered twigs because I've not used it for a while. So I'm going to glue around these envelopes. Am I? Yes, yes, yes I am, okay. Yeah, okay. Actually, stop. These are going to be pockets too. So do they need a... Yeah, because it's gonna be hard to get them out, isn't it? Okay, stop, stop what you're doing. Um, so if this is 11, we want it at five and a half. I do want these uh, central. So five and a half is there. And five and a half is <coughs> there. And I'm going to use the, the smaller one. That means I'm going to have to put a divot on there as well. <laughs> Started something now. So that's that. And that's that. Let's um, re ink it up. Okay. Um, so I'm going to want to do uh, this. Oh, that's. Um, it in half hopefully well yeah um so I'll stick that there <laughs> wait on it yeah oh, that's cute so should be able to eye it from from there Yep, and this one, oh, wrong with it. Let's 
and that. Yep. Right, I'm trying to get that to, to glue in. Okay. <clears throat> so I don't know if that'll have dried or not. Right, so we need to go all the way around. It's quite dark now outside. It's um, about half past five. So that's going to go in there. Oh, well done, hold well on. What am I doing? Yeah. So this is going to be a funny size pocket because you're going to put something in but you're not going to be able to um, thingy it. It's just going to be literally that bit which is fine. But like I say because I'd only seen it in um, her flip through I don't, you know, I'd not really thought I it. Uh, works or anything <coughs> so yeah it'll be just like a, a tag there which would be nice okay so that is that so you've got a pocket there and a pocket there and they obviously in the envelope yeah <laughs> and then you've obviously got your, your pocket there yeah I like that once it's once it's glued down. Right, so that's that. I'm gonna pause and do do the other one so we can keep, you know, at the same um, speed. I don't know. How bizarre. Um, I just paused and did that and I just uh, flicked up on my other phone um, notifications. And Dee's actually just posted a video uh, with an update. So after I film this, I'm going to go and uh, watch it that's bizarre anyway so <laughs> that's how it's done uh so far <clears throat> now we want to uh cover the flaps so i'm going to take this uh strip off so i can lay it from the top now i don't know how to do this uh because normally i put two videos up on a saturday and sunday now i could um what i'm going to do is literally just oh mind you if i did that that would be upside down if i did it that way it'd be upside down hmm oh, no yeah i'm just thinking of a way to do it to save actual paper but um yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna work like that. So um I'm going to put that here and stick it down. How pretty does that look? Oh I love it. Um <clears throat> what that okay, so I might as well just make uh, a thing. Um what was I saying? So yes, I don't know if to because, like I say, I normally put a video up on uh, Saturday and a Sunday. Uh, two videos. Um, so, I don't know if to do one video on the Saturday. Just, you know, making um, the pocket. So sorry about Colin. And then do the second video today. Um, decorating them. Or should I do two pockets on Saturday, two pockets on Sunday, and then we'll decorate everything at the end of the month? Because um, I think then I could obviously, you know, make some embellishments and um, decorate them all to, together. Um, and I think the embellishments will be nicer then because, um, you know, you're not just making embellishments for for each each separate one um so i think i've answered me my question myself you know sometimes it's best to say something out loud isn't it and it does help you um make make your mind up so yeah i think that's what what i'll do um because then obviously we can have um <clears throat> some sessions on making some embellishments and then um we can decorate them all yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so I love these. 
these are so cute right let's um let's do this one so i think you know i've tried to be conserve the paper um so that one's going to be the bottom one so we'll stick that on there so i just totally uh covered it um instead of matting it and making making it hard on myself you know leaving a I don't know, an eighth gap all the way around or or whatever. Oh my goodness. There must be somebody outside doing something. Is that the right way? Yeah. Okay, shall we try again? So I'm going to try and use that there. So cover it in glue and then I just cut um all the way way around it just taking care not to you know go through um the top of of the envelope but if you did you could just put some <coughs> some washi tape on there or a bit of lace on there or whatever Okay, so I've cut that bit out and to do this bit, I just tip it over like so and then just go as close as possible, like so with that, going into the envelope, like so. I've done that like a bit too short. Oh, that's it. And then just go go around and ink it this uh, bunny paper looks really nice inked it it goes really vintage uh looking oh yeah i do like that <laughs> oh that's nice when you can tone you know tone them down to your own your own liking that they still look still look nice so that's that part and now we're going to do um, a tie uh, thing so I've got my one inch punch out and I think it would probably be better to do it uh, at the back so with those two I'd already punch those two out um, can we get one in here just that's one and let's go here <laughs> that's two so just uh, ink around these i just made that noise i don't know if you know who it is i just thought oh goodness i need to stick another one on that means i'm going to waste some more paper but i can do that with a manila and just stick it um on um I do think having two pieces of card is is better than one. Um, I don't know what GSM this um this paper pad is. I do think it does say on the uh, strip that I've cut off. I'd imagine it's definitely two hundred GSM. I don't know um if it's much more than that, but it definitely feels too. 200 so we're going to want four of these okay <clears throat> so i've um done some manila card and then um stuck it on the back and inked around just using the all to try and get in the middle it's um easier said said than done um and then I'm going to make a, a hole in these. I'm just thinking, I think that's nice at, at the top. Yep. Yeah. So do it that way. Then just pop the brad through. And yeah, we do, <coughs> we do need to cover this inside. That's that one. Just give it a press 
down. And then that one, have it there. These are just really small uh, brads, but the smaller the legs <laughs> for this, the better. So that's that. Let's do this one. So, oh, I might go low on that one. Oh no, I feel a bit bad. I can go there on that one. Ah. Oh, me. That's that. <coughs> so that's that one. Just thinking what paper to, to put at the back. I don't know if to coordinate it, you know, with the with the back. Um so that at the back. Yeah, that'd be nice actually. Um <clears throat> yeah I'm gonna have to go down there I can't it's not about stabbing the bonnet oh gosh that sounds awful um I, I don't want to block his face out so if I go there That is that. Um, so yeah, I'll do the coordinating uh, paper inside like so. So uh, with this being non-directional, I've got, not really got to to think about it. So I'm going to across from about there I suppose I should have put something over the top of that but it is a very small one it is very thin so I think it'll be it'll be fine you know, I could have gone a lot I don't know why I went as far out as that. What a waste. <clears throat> I can't go all the way. Right. Let's just bring it out from the... That's it. I'll probably pop a, a little bit of ink in in that might have to put a bit more glue as well it probably dried a little bit right try and go around here it's a bit blurry now because it's the same print it's a bit hard to to see i'm glad i did ink this because at least it does make it um, a little bit different from from the bright so I can kind of distinguish the the two. So I think I'm going to do the rest um, off camera. Okay, so that's uh, the flaps done inside. I'm going to put the string on. So just leave myself enough that I can tie it twice. Let's get the string behind. Don't pull it too tight because you could... Um, go straight through and pull your um <coughs> brad off i've done done that before but tight enough that it's not gonna come loose so i'll we'll cut that end off then i'm just gonna wind it round twice so once twice and then cut it off uh, middle so that is is those uh, so we've got the three pockets we've got one here um which is 
it's ended up being a pretty roomy one then we've got one inside and one inside and you can also uh tuck something inside here um so yeah i absolutely love them uh really cute so yeah give them give them a go like i say i'll leave uh brenda's link and um i shall be back later uh with another pocket and um i'll save these and we'll have a good a good um decorating session i was just thinking i've got no actual woodland uh words printed so i will we'll print some words off and cut some words before we get to the um embellishing any bits that i've got if they're only small i am just going to make circles with them because if i don't use them in all tabs um or eyelet things um because if i don't use them in this project you know they'll come in useful whatever um and i might as well do it as as i go rather than um well i'm not keeping tiny bits of of card so that is those um i shall see you later bye for now <laughs>